break down an assault. And I'll show you something that I just discovered that is actually quite interesting. When you look at assaults, uh, the first thing you do is you take the IDS number, which is the you know defense number, and it's actually not two, it's four, because I, I changed my mind once I reread the rules about what I'd like to do. And then you find the little doohickey. And of course, that's a six, it's not a four. Here it is, here. Four. So, <clears throat> uh, Masana has an ids of four. And what we do is we take all the strength points, infantry strength points only, uh, that are in the hex, and we multiply that by the its number. And so we get some whopping number. It's, uh, I got, uh, I don't know, 10, 22 infantry strength points there, times that, times four is, you know, 88 points or something like that, right? So there's no way that on a table that goes from, uh, pop, 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 there you go, one to two, six to one, that I could be successful. I have to roll if I was uh, making a one to two attack. Uh, it would, um, it would be a. I'm sorry. If I make a one to two attack, I'd have to roll a nine, or better. And you can only roll a nine unless you have DRMs. But then it says uh, for assault ratios greater than. Uh, uh, less than one to two, the assault is automatically unsuccessful. And you think to yourself, well, there's no point in doing that. And the last thing I want to do is have an unsuccessful attack and possibly suffer losses. Well, you're going to suffer losses no matter what you do in an assault. That's uh, the first thing. The second thing is on a successful assault, uh, the attacker, and, and there are some DRMs that it would be applied to this role that would make it impossible for me to be successful anyway because I'm disrupted. Uh, so it's a minus two to my die roll, and they have uh, ships in port that'll uh, be further effects. So it's really very, 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 very hard to uh, make a significant impact upon the, uh, the the loss, the the status of the city. We're not going to capture it this turn, but what we can do is uh, conduct an unsuccessful assault. And if I uh, and here's how what happens: I roll a die halve that number and multiply by 10% and that's going to be my losses. Ooh, that sounds nasty, right? Uh, but I might be prepared to do that if uh, I roll a odd die for the defender's result, they lose 25% of their force. Uh, and if they roll an even number, they lose 10% of their force. So, hmm. And that starts to sound like that might be interesting to me to want to conduct this assault anyway. Uh, at the risk of, uh, you know, I could lose 40% of my army. But once again, the Carthaginian player must take Masana as quickly as possible, I believe, to set himself up to force the Roman player to begin to react to your actions as opposed to being proactive like he is at the moment hanging out over here in Acrotentum. We want to stop that activity and have him come back over to Masana. Because if he can get Masana, he can knock out the elite cavalry and knock out the Syracusan army in one shot and, uh, and make them their ally. And then we're in a very different situation. So maybe by taking the risk of these losses, We'll be okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll a red and a blue die. And the blue die, we're going to multiply, half that number and multiply it by 10%. And the red die, if it's even, 25% uh, losses for the second consular army. And it is indeed an even number. And we rolled a four for the Carthaginians. Ouch. Okay, that's still going to be 20% losses, so that's pretty nasty. Okay, here we go. We'll go do that. We'll talk to you soon.